2022 IRS refund delays. Welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's update we are going to go over irs updates for june 3rd let's go ahead and begin this information is being shared from irs.gov all right updated june 3rd 2022 the irs is reporting that they currently have 10 Point two million on process individual returns, which includes returns before 2022 and new tax year 2021 returns. Of that number, 2 million returns require error correction or special handling, and 8.2 million are paper returns waiting to be processed. And this number is an increase from last week, all right? Maybe due to to those that are processing their taxes that had requested an extension. So currently they still have in total 10.2 million on process individual tax returns, all right? They are reporting they have processed all error-free returns received prior to October 2021 and continue to work the returns that need to be manually reviewed due to errors. So if you are still waiting on your 2022 tax refund, the IRS is stating it needs to be corrected or reviewed manually. Uh, it is delayed because it has uh, mistakes, including errors concerning the recovery rebate credit, child tax credit is missing information, or have a uh, suspected identity theft or fraud, all right? If they can fix it, they will fix anything that needs to be fixed if they need additional information they will contact you by mail the resolution for these uh, issues could take 90 to 120 days depending on how quickly and accurately you respond to any requested additional information and the ability uh, the ability of the IRS staffers all right so make sure you're checking your mail if you're still waiting because if you need to provide additional information the longer you take to respond to that notice the longer you will have to wait for your delayed 2022 tax refund you can also contact the taxpayer advocate uh, taxpayer advocate service at 1-877-777 Eight, all right, moving on. Uh, in most instances, uh, no further action will be needed from you and you can continue to check the where is my refund tool as well as your irs online transcript for updates all right if you file on paper it says check the where is my refund if it tells you that they have received your return or are processing or reviewing it that they are processing your return but it may be under review all right uh moving on if you file before october 2021 it says that uh and the uh, where is my refund do not have any information it has been open but the work on it has not begun all right it says that they are working hard to get through the carry over inventory and please do not file a second return so if you're not getting any status on the where is my refund tool the irs is stating they have not began processing your return but do not file a second return as for the amended tax returns they currently have 2.1 million on process forms 1040x they are processing those returns in the order in which they receive them and it's taking them 20 weeks or more you can check where is my amended return for the status of your amended return now victims of identity theft who sent form 
14039 or form 14039-B, it states that uh, you will receive notification that your case has been resolved. Uh, this generally takes 120 days, but due to the pandemic, their identity theft inventories have increased. And on an average, it is taking about 360 days to resolve any identity theft cases. So if you have an identity uh, theft issue, those are also delayed. All right, moving on. Uh, if you requested an individual taxpayer identification ITIN, they are processing forms W-7 uh, that they received in early March. It states that we are taking every action to minimize delays and we are processing requests in order uh, in which they are received. The taxpayer will be notified once the ITIN has been assigned. If any additional information is needed, uh, they will notify you. Taxpayers who requested an extension have until October 17 to file your 2022 tax return. It says, however, if you have all of your necessary information, the IRS is encouraging you to file early and to file electronically as soon as possible. Uh, the IRS is also hiring. Check out the video that I did two days ago. It will be pinned in the comment section as well as in the description box, all right? But you can go to jobs.irs.gov, jobs.irs.gov to find the hiring event. The IRS is hiring 4,000 workers for the summer. And that position, or one of those positions, as stated in the previous video, have the potential to work at home. So make sure you check that out. And uh, the IRS will continue accepting applications through June 17, 2022 for the TCA and the VITA grant opportunities. You can go to grants.gov and this is what the page looks like, all right? And the uh, VITA grant program, you know that is the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Grant program, uh, which the IRS uh, designed to support free tax preparation service for underdeserved uh, communities through various partners and organizations. This service helps low to moderate income individuals, persons with disability, the elderly, and limited English speakers to file their taxes for free. So if you uh, know someone who would like to apply for this grant to participate in this program that assists uh, low and income families to file their taxes for free, you can go to grants.gov, all right? Make sure to like, comment, ask any questions, share, hit that notification bell, and come back for all of the information that matters to you most. I am doing the research so you do not have to. And I will see every one of you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.